Okay, everybody, um, before I begin, here are my PC specs, at least um, some of them. Um, I am running Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. And um, the screen recorder I've been testing out is BB Flashback Express Recorder. It's the free version. Okay, one thing I want to mention whether you go to see uh, my videos or somebody else's videos. Let me change that back to auto. Um, if you go to somebody's video and you pop it up and before you view it you want to um, click on the pause button. Well, that's play because I mean you know I don't want to play it right now but it, there's like two lines and it'd be a pause button. And then once you pause the video you want to go to the little uh, nut and bolt thingy, the little wheel, and change quality. And some videos offer up to uh, 360p. Other videos um, offer up to 480p in quality. And then you get a few videos that offer all the way up to 720p HD if what whatever the uh, the video quality setting is they allow you to view this particular video at or anybody else's always click the highest one so I can click 720p and you see right here in tiny little letters says HD and as you can see it's slightly clear well I don't know if you're gonna see that or not because <laughs> I'm testing out the screen recorder um, and then you got this um, small window and then you got uh, a, a, a large window they call it a large player and then you got full screen I would try the large um, player see what it looks like and as you can see it looks a little bigger and then if you want more you just go to 720p of course it won't let me go to 480 I don't know why well because I'm starting this out wrong okay if you're noticing my text is bigger and everything else is bigger it's not because um, of the video set quality setting I chose I also had to while recording with BB Flash Express recorder I had to change the um, screen uh, resolution um, you're gonna have to play with that yourself because I don't have a, a separate screen re recorder installed on here to show you I mean, I guess I could do screenshots, but I don't know if that'll show up well. And this is just a test recording. So this is my second test recording. And let's see what this does. Actually, it does nothing. It's one of those silent recordings, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Anyway... I'm going to minimize this window and spend three minutes and 40 some odd seconds so far and I'm going to click on here and just to remind you I had to change the screen resolution um, in the BB Flashback Express Recorder free version to a, um, a, a lower uh, screen resolution in order to get this kind of result you see how kind of everything's kind of bigger a little bit, and this is full screen. This is not regions, full screen. Um, I use CC Cleaner, and since I have since I have Windows 7 64 bit, um, I am very careful what I do with it at this point in time. I know I can go ahead and do all that stuff, but I'm just being careful because I have to find a method of image uh, restore backup, which I haven't figured out yet. I, I know what I need to do, but I don't have the money. Let me see. Um, there's Internet Explorer. I have it clean out the browser Internet Explorer, and nothing here yet. Um, right now, I just have it clean out my um, browsers and my mail, and um, my applications. You know, like Foxit, McAfee, which I don't have. That's part of a. 
uh, Java, by the way, which I never installed, but for some reason CC Cleaner picked up on it. <coughs> Paint.net, which is an awesome program. Audacity, Send Java. And if you notice, I don't have it cl uh, clean out uh, Skype or Pigeon. I'm, I'm kind of seeing how well this works with on Windows 7 64 bit. And that's Adobe Media Player Classic because I recently installed some codecs. The K-Lite codec pack full for Windows 7 64 bit. It works really good. Um, you can play it in the Media Player Classic, or if you right click and choose program, you can play it in the regular um, Windows Live Media Player and um, Windows Home Movie, believe it or not. Uh, VLC Media Player is a good little player. I use it. I use it because I use VLC Media Player because I have a friend in Germany, and um, one time she sent me a, a real cool CD and I couldn't play it, um, so I had to use uh, VLC Media Player to play it. It's kind of weird how that is, and that's all I really do play with this thing. And what else do I use? Any video converter? It's a good little converter. <coughs> Um, you have to play with it a little bit, but it's a good little converter. I also uh, have this other program. If I type in in the search here, if you type in the search, and you type in any because you got any video converter. Well, I also have this program called Any Audio Converter that works really good for converting um, one file, audio file to another. Like I don't know, an audio file to an MP3 or something like that. And then, so what else? Oh, Skype. That's a good little program. And that's something I'll get into in another video once I figure all this shit out, find a setting I like. Mm, all programs. Audacity works pretty good. Uh, the most re recent version. Desktop, desktop uh, gadget gallery. That's pretty cool. Um. Spotify music player. You remember a while back you'd be able to have a regular account of Spotify? Well, and then they say now you have to have a Facebook account? Well, that's not true. You can have both. Because I created one, I created one, uh, a regular account with Spotify and uh, it did just fine. Just, and, and I can use Facebook if I want to. I, you know, so it's like a second option to use Facebook. And the K-Lite Coda Pack full. That's a good look on uh, Coda Pack. And I know I shouldn't do too much on this Windows 7 PC right now, but I can't help myself. <laughs> I have LibreOffice 3.6. Um, I mainly use the writer. So that's what I mainly use. You see. Oh, Moth soft free calculator good little program you know how it, every operative comes with a regular windows microsoft calculator and you and it's just a tiny ass little calculator well for people who have visual um, problems have a hard time seeing the desktop this program's really nice moth soft free calculator I might include that in the description of the video maybe but you click on it and, and right now you see it's small and then but if you take your mouse to the corner and you can stretch it out see how big that got with Microsoft calculator you can't do that but with moth soft free calculator you click on about and you click on about uh, moth soft free calculator and it gives you the version 1.2.0 Point six. Pretty cool. Mothsoft.com. See what else I want to talk about. Oop. Uh, webcam Max. It's just a fun little uh, webcam software for your webcam that don't have that many effects. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. Let's, let's pop. Ooh, I can't pop that up right now. I'm using my webcam as a microphone, so I can't use that right now. Uh, maintenance Logitech. Lenovo. Games. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, 
this Windows 7 64-bit came with a game, Chess Titans. And I'm not sure how this is going to show up. Okay, so then I'm going to make, since I don't know how to play chess, I'm just going to show you a few things. You click on it, it actually shows you where you can go. And then the second guy goes like this. And so I click, click. Oh, it, I guess I can move this one because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and like that. Oh. And see what happens. Oh. Oh, I took a pawn. Oh, and he took my uh, knight. See, that's what it kind of does. And don't save, because I don't want to save nothing. But anyway, that's about it. And this is my test recording. And if you have any advice to make this an even better test recording, other than me having to change my uh, screen resolution within this, inside this program, because once I click on stop recording right here, what's going to happen is that it's going to go back to the normal screen resolu resolution because I, it's a setting inside this program. Okay, bye!